Do you like singing in the choir? Yes, I enjoy it. What's your favorite song? Probably Amazing Grace. Really? Mm -hmm. Can you sing it? Oh, do I have to? Just a little? I don't know that I can. Amazing Grace. I can't believe this. I just lost that I forgot it. That's okay. Okay, can I start over? Yeah. Amazing Grace. Of this is Vera. Vera loves to sing, she loves to dance, and her memories are fading away. Vera has Alzheimer's disease. Today, there's no known cure, but some people are doing something to change that. Alzheimer's disease. To many of us, it's just a memory loss disease. Every day, individuals battle Alzheimer's, many of them in memory care facilities, such as this one in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I got the opportunity to meet the delightful Vera. She lives here among caring staff and the friends she's made. Hey, good, how are you? Okay, come on over here. This is my new husband. <laughs> Vera and I sat down to talk about living with Alzheimer's disease. How would you say Alzheimer's has affected your life? You know what? I don't let it bother me, really. I feel like mm -hmm. I'm blessed to be alive and to have what I have and be where I am, so mm -hmm. I just say, oh well, whatever. Yeah. I mean, is that goofy? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way I look at it, you know, that's just me. Not everyone has Vera's sunny outlook on life. Dr. Ben Barr is one of many researchers working to unravel the mystery of Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is a scary thought. Diseases, cancers, they don't lose your memories. At Emory University, major research is being led by Dr. Alan Levy, who is quick to correct misconceptions about the disease. Normal aging brings along some changes in how fast we think, and maybe we become forgetful of a few things, we might misplace our keys, but Alzheimer's disease is an actual brain disease where brain cells start degenerating. Roger Ackerman of the Sumter South Carolina Rotary Club is a prominent figure in the search for a cure. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Roger. Unfortunately, in our family, we, we experienced Alzheimer's. My wife's wonderful mother, who was really a second mother to me. At age 70, she was just so dynamic. If you take a walk with her, you would have to, really have to be able to keep up. But about two years later, we started noticing memory loss, little things. And unfortunately, it was Alzheimer's. But because she was in such good health, uh, hers was a long, long goodbye. It was heartbreaking. Just imagine not being able to tell someone you're hungry. I need to go to the bathroom. My throat hurts. I mean, it, it is unbelievable that the change that comes over a very accomplished, loving lady. Roger's pain is shared by other members of his Rotary Zone. Robert and Charlene Hall have been surprised at how many of their friends have been affected by Alzheimer's. You know, Carl, I thought Alzheimer's was just something you heard about and it was older people and, and I just didn't think it affected anybody I knew. I found that Alzheimer's, almost everybody knows somebody that has this, some form of dementia. Do you remember that first time that you were with your mother-in-law, that she didn't remember you? Oh yeah. Yeah, it was uh, probably uh, five or six years before she finally passed, and I knew she didn't know who I was. It was very, very hard. Mama was diagnosed in August of 2006. 
that was the day life changed. It changed for me personally as far as my mom and a mother-daughter relationship. Tell me about your daughters. Oh, my daughters. Now you're going to make me cry. My daughters are the best. And I feel so blessed to have my children that there's not words I can tell you. There's going to be a lot of people with Alzheimer's, and that's going to be a huge crunch on national budgets, families, etc. I, I don't know how. If I was 50 years old working and Charlene got Alzheimer's, I don't know what I'd do. But I probably need to work. Well, what I do? I don't know what I do. Alzheimer's is a costly and time-consuming illness. You would think such a serious issue demands a complex solution, but does it? Roger Ackerman decided to tackle the problem with a little help from his friends in Rotary. I kept thinking Rotary could do something about research. One day, while having lunch with a friend, the idea came to Roger unexpectedly. And he said to me, he says, you know, eight to nine billion dollars in coins change hands every day in America. That was an interesting uh, fact. And at three o'clock the next morning, I came out of bed like a bolt and I thought, that's it. So, Roger decided to ask his Rotary Club to empty their spare chains before the meeting. And this was the beginning of CART. He started at his local Rotary Club in Sumter, South Carolina to test the concept. And in about seven or eight months time, we had raised $4,200. And we're not that big a club, so that, that was pretty darn good. Today, that $4,200 has grown to many millions of dollars for research. But this was more than just a new way to raise money. CART funds go toward funding a very unique need in Alzheimer's research. These funds we raise by putting a bucket on a table at breakfast or lunch, and you put your change or a dollar bill in them, went to research that was granted once a year with the funds we raised to something the federal government would not pay for. High-risk things that are really likely to be impactful are the hardest things to get funded from the federal government. CART, it allows researchers to take their best ideas and get money to start doing the research. CARD came along right when we needed it. It's these types of funding avenues that, that give small research labs like mine ability to test a new idea that may not get funding from the bigger places like NIH. 100% of every donated dollar goes to research. We've never varied one second from that. Do you have hope for your condition? In my lifetime, not really. Now that's being pessimistic, isn't it? Is that the right word I was supposed to say there? But uh, it might happen. It would be wonderful if it did. So what do you do for fun now? We have fun here a lot. We do, we laugh a lot. Yeah. You like to dance? Yes, I, live, I like to dance. In fact, I think I'm going dancing tonight. Somebody said, I hope so anyway. Yeah. I have a question. Sure. May I have a dance? Sure. Research takes a long time. In the short term, there are many creative ways to improve the lives of Alzheimer's patients. Now, tell me about these choirs. Well, I have directed choirs throughout my life in church. Music's always been an important part of my life. We are doing a show, and that show has now been titled Songs of America. So we're doing patriotic. We're going to do a folk song or two. We're going to do a hymn. There's some reports that say music therapy will really help people with Alzheimer's because it, it gives them a, a memory they can tie into and recall. Now Alzheimer's affects the entire brain, but for some reason it's kinder to the right temporal lobe. It's less affected than the rest of the brain. 
So the part of the brain that's involved in storing memories for music and recognizing music is a little bit different than the part of the brain that gets affected primarily in Alzheimer's disease. So I suspect one of the reasons that people tend to respond well to music is because they still have that brain function. Oh, good job. Every year, CART holds an event to honor their grant recipients. And this year's event features some very special guests. There's the Agape Singers. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hi. Good to see you again. Uh-huh. You're looking good. The annual event is the highlight of this program. It's when we receive our research uh, grantees. They see grassroots people working on this and it puts wind in their sail. I, mm -hmm. I see them leave here with a, with a more of a purposeful intent. This lady's name is Carol Howe. She is the leader of a group called the Carol Howe Agape Singers. Today I want to present to you the Agape Senior Choir from Rock Hill, South Carolina, and the Agape Joyful Voices from York, South Carolina, and they're going to be singing for you today. Make the world go I think we need community understanding of what happens. You know, people think it's kind of funny and it's, you know, it's somebody else, but it isn't. It's all of us. And I think together we can accomplish more. We certainly can raise more funds together. We certainly can create more awareness together. Not everybody, not all 1,580 clubs in our area contributes to CART. We need to make people aware. But that's a story for another time. For now, I made a promise to take a gal dancing, and I don't want to be late. Things don't always go according to plan. Well, what do you do when the light goes out, you know? I mean, you, you, you stop, you stop living? No, there used to be electricity, people kept going. The storm has knocked out the power, it's the first power outage the venue has ever experienced. But it's not enough to stop Vera. Fortunately, you don't need the right lighting to dance. You just need the right dance partner. You, want to learn how to you do sure do have on. a busy dance card, don't you? Yeah. You want to dance? Wait a minute. You don't know who that is? I do and I don't. I'm Carl. You're kidding. No, <laughs> I still am. <laughs> are you still? Who are you? I'm Vera. Vera. Oh. <laughs> well, let's have a dance. <laughs> How you been feeling? Doing great. Good. It's sad to watch a vibrant life being slowly diminished by an awful disease. But a woman like Vera can give hope to even the darkest situation. I think you've danced before. <laughs> Wonder why we think that. <laughs> Even as the disease takes its hold, gradually wearing away at Vera's memories, she dances on. Through the darkness, Vera shines brightly, even as the lights grow dim around her. You're a fine dancer. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a day I don't think about my mother-in-law. We called her mother in love, you know? So, yeah. Uh, it's, I've dedicated my life to her memory. In the dark and step on toes. <laughs> Vera. You still got it. I still got it. <laughs> you still All got right. it. <laughs> you still got it. You did great.
May I have a dance? 